it is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you kind of our master bathroom farmhouse reveal, I guess we'll call it. <laughs> um, I've been going through our home painting all of our oak woodwork white and as I've been doing that I have been enjoying redecorating more into the, like the whole farmhouse decor style that's super popular right now. I am like all in with the farmhouse decor. Let me tell you I am obsessed with home decor lately. So if you are not subscribed and you like farmhouse decor, make sure you are subscribed. But today's video I focused on the master bathroom which is right behind me there. Now we have lived here for five years and that room has always been an afterthought. We didn't do a thing since we moved in except for I guess last year we removed the glass shower door. But other than that, like we did not change out any decor. We had just the oak vanity and it was just kind of... It was a really, it was an afterthought. Like it was just my husband and I using the bathroom and it just wasn't a big deal. But as I painted the trim, I really wanted to kind of freshen up the space. We had an oak vanity in there. It was kind of all scratched and worn, like the varnish on it was just like coming off. It just did not look good. So I was really happy I was able to paint that and freshen it up. I also changed out our floors. I did everything basically myself. My husband helped me install the light fixtures. But other than that, I basically did everything. Um, if I can do it, you can do it. If you are looking for like easy bathroom DIYs, this might be the video for you because it was all like stuff I could do and so that's great. I also was able to give the space just a whole new fresh look on a budget and that is key. Like I did not spend a lot of money. Like this is not something that cost us thousands of dollars but it looks like a completely different space. So I'm so excited to share with you. I will try to link as much as I can below into the description box. I love me some Amazon. I also did a farmhouse decor haul video yesterday um, which I shared a lot of the items I'm going to show you in the bathroom. So you can go ahead and watch that video if you're curious about where I got everything. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump into the tour. And then I also have something else I'm going to share with you at the end of the video that I have been working on. I did not talk about it at all on my Instagram or my channel. So you're going to be surprised, I think. But so stay tuned. Let's go in the bathroom. One of the first things I did was I painted all of the trim, the doors. We have the door going in and then we also have like a little closet door and the window. I painted all of those white. We switched out the blinds for some white ones and it really just brightened things up. It is just amazing the difference painting the woodwork has made. So I painted that. I switched out all of the hardware to like the oil rub bronze and that just makes an amazing difference. Like it's just, it makes the white pop so much. I love the bronze hardware with the white doors. So that was the very first thing I did. Then I decided I wanted to paint the walls, which I decided to go with. The color is Repost Gray by Sherwin-Williams, and it is an amazing color. It's a very light gray, and it's just it's perfect for smaller spaces. It just really brightened it up in here. It used to be like a... There's two tones of beige in here, a darker beige and then a darker beige. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. So I'm just freshening up the trim in the walls made so much of a difference. Like I said, it just brightened things up so, so, so much. So I did all of that. Then the next step that I did was I painted the oak vanity. So this was oak before and did not have any hardware on it. So I used the Magnolia Home paint. It's like a chalk style paint. So I didn't need to do like any prepping or sanding or anything like that. So I did the Magnolia Home. This is in the color Weekend. I will link the paint below, but it's something I already had on hand from a different project. So I painted the woodwork and then I sealed it with polycrylic, which is what I use whenever I chalk paint. I seal it with the polycrylic. And so that was awesome. Like this color is just so beautiful. It's like a bluish green. It's really hard to explain. It almost seems like it changes colors, like depending on like how bright it is in here. But I love it. I love it so much. And then the hardware I actually got from Target. It's an iron, what do they call it? Like a soft iron or something like that. I will link them below, but these were also from Target. And then these poles, like they're just so cool. They're so unique. And they're also really easy to do if you're a beginner with installing hardware because it covers up any, we'll call it sin. <laughs> That's what my dad calls it. So if you accidentally don't have your hole in the right place, it gets covered up under the hardware, which thankfully I didn't have any problems like that, but it's really great if you are new to installing and drilling holes into your like doors or cabinets, things like that. 
these were great. They just, they cover, cover up any like errors you might make. So that is awesome. I love how that turned out. And this is basically my pop of color in the room. So we did not switch out the countertop. I decided to just go ahead and keep what I had. So between just painting the vanity and not changing the countertops, I saved myself probably seven or $800. So definitely worth giving it a coat of paint and seeing if you like it before going out and buying an entire new vanity. So we did go ahead and get new faucets though because ours were falling apart. They were so corroded and gross. So we got these, I believe, well, I got these at Menards, but they're the Moen, Moen? Moen, I think is how you would say it. Oil rub bronze as well. I love like the dark black finish to them. Next, I switched out the mirrors. We used to have two big, like thick black ones. They had a little bit of like a goldish tone to them as well. They just didn't look right with some of the other finishes I was going for. I wanted to kind of warm in the space up. Warm, warming? I don't know. Did I just say warming? I wanted to warm the space up. <laughs> and so I wanted to do some sort of a wood would finish on these mirrors. And so Wayfair had their big, it's like their big Black Friday sale. They do it once a year, it's a huge sale. And trust me, they had some great savings. So I found mirrors on their site. These ended up being about $60 a piece, which I think is very affordable. They came in a bunch of different sizes, but I just thought these fit best with the space that we were working with. So just a nice wood finish. I will link these. I love them. They, I even hung them up. They're very easy to hang up. So um, that's great. And then up here, we also did go ahead and change out the light fixtures. These I actually got off of Amazon and they are super farmhouse. I love the wire cages or whatever, but what's also really nice is if, you know, I ever decide I wanna change from the farmhouse style, I don't have to replace the entire light fixture. I can just unscrew these little cages off and put like a new glass one on if I wanted or whatever I wanna do. So there's definitely um, ways I can change this out in the future if it maybe goes out of style or whatever the case might be. So that's really nice. And these were cheaper than I could find in stores. So I also loved the price. So got myself some farmhouse light fixtures to go with my rustic mirrors. And I just like how it all looks together. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Love that. And then I did go ahead and hang the towel bar right here. This was from Hobby Lobby. I just put some Q-tips that I used to keep on the counter in here. And then this little plant from Target. And that sign does it not just fit perfectly over the basket. Hung my towel. I'm still trying to decide what color of towels. I don't mind the gray but I think you could also do a different color. Like what, I don't wanna do white cause I would get it dirty like so quick, so quick. So did that and then I got lots of questions already on this tray when I posted a photo on Instagram. I actually thrifted this little two tier tray. I think I paid like $3 at Goodwill for it, but it's by the brand Inner Design. If I can find something like it, I will link it. But it's just a great way to kind of put some stuff out on your vanity. I put some decor on the top. And then we do use the, um, the bottom for like some bathroom things. My husband is out of town. Otherwise, he would maybe have, he puts his vitamins down there, I think. But yeah, just a fun way to, dis to display certain decor. And then if you remember, I got that clock out of my swap box I did not too long ago on my channel. So it was just like the perfect little fit because I didn't have a good spot on the wall for a clock and we use it all the time when we're getting ready in the morning. Let's talk about the flooring. So I went a little bit wild on the floors and these are called floor pops. They are actually peel and stick tiles that you put right over top of your existing flooring. So we had 20 year old linoleum that was on the floor before. I went ahead and covered it with these. I did it all by myself and it cost me about, to do the floors, I'd say it was, well, I'm gonna use about, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'll be using about six boxes. So it was about a $60 project to completely change our floors. Oh my goodness, so definitely a good value. Now, is it a long-term floor? I'm not sure yet. Um, just because it was so inexpensive to change it, I won't feel bad in a couple years if we want to have a professional come in and you know give us some really nice floors. It's just something fun to do for now. And I really think it just completely changed the space. So love that. Like I said, I did it all by myself. The hardest part is probably, you know, some of the edges and corners. We had a lot of like awkward, 
like angles. So that gets a little bit more challenging, but you get the hang of it once you get going. So I ordered an extra box so I can go back and maybe fix one or two that I'm just not 100% happy with. But overall, I love the floor. So cheap, so fun, right? I did change out our shower curtain as well. I wanted one that was taller that covered the entire like shower behind it. And so I ordered this one off of Amazon because it's a 80 inches and most stores only cover like 72, I think. So I ordered a taller one and it is awesome. I love it. You actually don't even need like a liner on this one, but we have one just because, but love that super cheap and really honestly just makes the, like the ceilings feel taller. If that's possible, I don't know. So I did buy a new shower curtain, but everything else we already had in here. And then this little area completely changed as well. So I used to have just one piece of art on the wall there, and it was just an afterthought. It was dusty because I never cleaned it. Just, I don't know. So this is so cool. I just love how the floors look over here. It's just so fun. So there's my Hobby Lobby shelf. I decorate it with all things that I shared in that haul video. I love that. I did end up using the heart in here just to kind of put something in the background, but I'm going to take some of your advice and put something in there. I just haven't decided what yet. I haven't gone out yet or anything like that, but just love it. And there's my, you know, it's truth right there for my husband. I did use the, this basket is from the Target dollar spot. I think it's meant to be like a gardening basket or something like that, but it fits perfectly on your toilet. So if you're looking for a basket, this is great. So it fits like a little box of Kleenex and you can do like your sprays or your lotions, whatever you want to do. It works out great. So I think that basket was like $5 or something like that. But got that there. I made these. I ordered the hooks off of Amazon. I wanted to do like an odd number and I could not find those online. I decided, you know what? I'm just going to make it cheaper. So I picked up this piece of wood from Menards. It was like under a dollar stained it with stain I already had and then just added the hooks all by myself so this is where we will hang towels and my rope and it is perfect we used to have just one towel bar that never got used this is definitely more purposeful for us so that that's my husband's scale he tracks all kinds of stuff on that and then there's my little toilet paper basket no butt will go unwiped downstairs now. I have Macy here. She's doing Legos at the counter. We had no school today for the Easter holiday, so she's hanging out with me, but I wanted to show you what I actually did on Friday, you guys. Oh my gosh. So Thursday night, I got this wild hair. I'm like, I want to paint my kitchen. I'm just going to do it. We're going to go for it. I'm going to get done before Easter because we were hosting Easter. So I brought all the kids with me. We went to Sherwin-Williams and I picked out a paint color and I came home, started prepping, and then Friday, basically, mostly during nap time, I painted our kitchen. And I went with the color Accessible Beige by Sherwin-Williams. I can, I'll put it in the comments below. But it's kind of like, it's a grayish. So certain lighting, it looks like a light beige and then certain ones, it looks like a super light gray. Very happy with how the color turned out. At first I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I do? But it is, it's great. It fits and matches everything that we already had in here. It looks so much better, brighter. So I painted the walls in here. And then the next day I'm like, I need to paint my sliding glass doors now because those were still oak. I was waiting for a nice day. So it was finally a super nice day. So I painted the sliding glass doors white. And so that's awesome. And then, <laughs> because why stop there? I decided I wanted to change out our dining room table, not our table, our chairs. And so I ordered some chairs off of Amazon. They actually just showed up today and we put them around the table. So 
kind of tweaking things how I want it to look completely and getting used to it. But I'll show you the new chairs too and kind of what I have in mind for it. But extremely happy with the kitchen as well. Um, I don't know what got into me. I think be between the paint sale they were having and just like hosting Easter, you just want your house to be like, look nice and blah, 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 you know? <laughs> so I just went for it and I did it. I got it all done in one day. And I, let me tell you, I was exhausted at the end of that day, but it was so worth it. I saved myself money just doing it myself and it turned out really good. So let me just show you instead of talking. There's the paint color, it's so much lighter. This was also a very dark beige or brown before. Totally brightened up the space. There we go, and we had a lot of concerns when we painted the door that it didn't match the walls, so this just goes way better with the barn door color that we have, which that's Dovetail Gray by Sherwin-Williams. But it is looking more beige today, so I do like that a lot. I do really, really like it. And that was in like desperate need of a paint job. Just, this is a super high traffic area with the kids. So it just feels like a brand new space. It's incredible. And then here's a look at this wall. We did that one as well. Now this wall right here is not painted yet just because this goes into the playroom. It's <laughs> Um. But, so I do have plans to paint the playroom slash office and this wall the same color as well, but for right now it is a little bit darker. That's actually what color it used to be, so you can kind of see the difference there of the colors. I so very much prefer that one. Oh my gosh. And then you can see above the cabinets, I painted that as well. Just totally brightened up the space. Could not be happier with it. What else do I have to show you? This wall here. Yes, it just, it looks so great. So I painted the walls. Lastly is the dining table and chairs. So I have wanted to change out our table for a long time, but it's just not worth it right now when we have little kids who destroy it basically with all of their artwork and things like that. So I decided I wanted to try some different chairs. This is actually the old, old style chair that we had out here. I just brought them downstairs while I was kind of playing with everything. But I ordered these chairs off of Amazon. They are like a glossy. I was hoping for more of a matte finish, but they will work. They're fine. I mean, it's not a big deal. They're black and that's what I wanted. So anyways, these are like super affordable, smaller profile chairs. So you see just the height difference between this chair versus this. The, these fit under the table so much better than these. You can see these stuck out so much. And we have a pretty small dining area right here. So these smaller chairs are amazing for our space. They're just a way better idea, I think, for the space that we have right here and for the kids that can easily be wiped down and everything. And so I am happy with these. I, we just got these today, so I'm still kind of playing with it. I've even contemplated painting the like legs of the table white to kind of, I don't know, do more farmhouse look to it. I'm not sure yet because I'm afraid the kids will chip it all up and then it will not look so good. You'll have to let me know what you think. But Anyways, we're playing with the new chairs and then I wanted to do something different on the end of the table. So this is an actual chair from our foyer. I had it sitting by our front door and I just really liked the color of it with the clock right here. And so it kind of gives us a little bit different option on the ends versus having all black chairs around the super dark table. So I like it's like a wood. They're from Wayfair. I love these by the way would look and I think it really looks nice at the end of the table against that wall. So it just, it's a small space and having the lower profile chairs just really opens up just what you can see on the shelves and walking through the living room. It's pretty cool. So <laughs> I'm happy with the chair change. I think I'm gonna order another one of these chairs for this end because we need six chairs of course. And yeah, I'm just happy with that. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna paint it yet, but there's always something to paint around here, it seems like. So we'll see what ends up with all the dining room chairs, but I definitely drank the farmhouse juice that's going around and I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will try to link as much as I can below. So if you have any questions or looking for something maybe for your bathroom or your kitchen, I'll have it below in the comments. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video, bye.